One of the most demonized compounds in medicine actually has the power to grow new blood vessels in your heart. That's right, nicotine, when actually used correctly and separated from tobacco, can trigger something remarkable in your cardiovascular system. But here's what's interesting. Most doctors don't know this, and those who do are actually afraid to talk about it. See these new blood vessels forming? This is what happens when nicotine is used at the right dose, at the right time, with the right cofactors. Not from smoking that's destructive with chemicals. I'm talking about therapeutic doses that can actually help your heart create new pathways for blood flow. So let me explain what's actually happening in your blood vessels. Just like we discussed with plaque types, your arteries respond differently to different compounds. Nicotine has three distinct effects depending on how you use it. So first, it triggers something called angiogenesis. That's the growth of new blood vessels. But here's where it gets very interesting. Just like we have different types of plaque, soft, calcified, and mixed, we have different types of blood vessel growth. So the key is using the right dose. Too much nicotine can cause chaotic vessel growth. So think of it like weeds growing everywhere in your garden, but the right dose is like carefully planting new pathways exactly where your heart needs them. So I have developed a comprehensive protocol based on the latest research in therapeutic nicotine use. Here's what we're targeting with both supplements and food sources at therapeutic doses. Take careful notes. This information could transform your understanding of cardiovascular health. Also, this video could be banned. So let me explain phase one of our therapeutic nicotine protocol, which we call the foundation building phase. This crucial four week period sets the stage for everything that follows. Before starting any nicotine therapy, we need to establish your baseline cardiovascular health through specific testing. Think of this like taking a snapshot of your current heart health. We'll need a CIMT scan to look at your arteries, check your inflammatory markers, including CRP and fibrinogen, measure your nitric oxide levels, run a complete cardiovascular panel, and establish your baseline heart rate variability. This gives us our starting point and helps us track your progress. So during these first four weeks, we introduce nicotine gradually, but only through food sources, no synthetic uh, nicotine yet. You'll actually start with the specific nightshade vegetables, focusing on eggplant extract at 100 milligrams daily. And here's what's actually interesting about the supporting nutrients. They work synergistically to prepare your cardiovascular system. So we'll take coenzyme Q10 at 300 milligrams daily, but specifically in the ubiquinol form because it's more bioavailable. The magnesium need to be in the ionic chloride form taken at 400 milligrams split throughout the day for optimal absorption. We use liposomal vitamin C at 1000 milligrams because it penetrates cells more effectively. And we introduce nitrates at 1000 milligrams split into multiple doses to maintain steady blood levels throughout the day. So this foundation phase is critical. Think of it like preparing soil before planting a garden. We're creating the optimal environment in your body before introducing therapeutic levels of nicotine. Many people want to rush this phase, but establishing this foundation properly will determine the success of the entire protocol. Let me walk you through phase two which we call the therapeutic introduction phase, spanning weeks five through eight. So this is where the protocol becomes truly fascinating because we're introducing therapeutic nicotine in a precise controlled manner. So after spending four weeks building your foundation, your body is ready for the next level of cardiovascular support. And here's exactly what we're doing. Your daily protocol starts first thing in the morning with a clean sourced one milligrams nicotine, gum, or lozenges. Timing is crucial here. 
By mid-morning, you'll consume about 250 grams of fresh arugula, which provides natural nitrates that synergistically enhance nitric oxide production. If your heart rate variability remains stable, and this is absolutely critical to monitor, you'll take a second one milligram nicotine dose in the afternoon. So think of this like conducting a symphony. Each component needs to play its part at exactly the right time. The supplement stack during this phase becomes more intensive. We increase the nitrate supplementation at 500 milligrams twice daily, and we bump up the coenzyme Q10 to 400 milligrams. This higher dose supports the increased energy demands of a new vessel formation. One of the most crucial additions during this phase is vitamin K2 MK7 at 300 micrograms daily. So think of K2 MK7 as your body's traffic director, ensuring that any calcium released during this process goes to your bones rather than your arteries. This is particularly important as we're stimulating new vessel growth. The key to success in phase two is precise timing and careful monitoring of your body's responses. We're not just throwing supplements at your system, we're creating a careful balance of compounds that work together to optimize your cardiovascular health. Let me walk you through phase three, our optimization phase, which runs from weeks nine through 12. This is where everything we've built comes together and we introduce what I consider the most sophisticated part of the protocol, steady state nicotine delivery through transdermal patches. So think of this like upgrading from a manual transmission to an automatic where we're creating a more consistent controlled delivery system for optimal results. So during this phase, we implement a strategic two milligram, 24 hour nicotine patch protocol. But here's the crucial part. We cycle it with five days on followed by two days off. This cycling prevents receptor desensitization and maintains optimal response. You'll need to rotate your patch application sites daily and I cannot stress enough the importance of monitoring your blood pressure twice daily during this phase. Just like we discussed with plaque formation, timing and consistency are everything here. The supplement stack during this optimization phase becomes more sophisticated. We increase your nitrate intake alongside introducing some powerful mitochondrial supporters. PQQ at 20 milligrams daily acts like a foreman, supervising the creation of a new mitochondria in your heart cells. We also add NMN at 500 milligrams, which works at a cellular energy catalyst, and alpha lipoic acid at 600 milligrams, serving as both an antioxidant and a mitochondrial support compound. So think of this combination as creating an optimal environment for your heart cells to thrive while the steady state nicotine stimulates controlled angiogenesis. Now this final phase is where patients typically see the most dramatic improvements, but it requires careful attention to detail and consistent monitoring. The beauty of this approach is that it combines the benefits of steady nicotine delivery with powerful cellular support nutrients, creating a comprehensive system for cardiovascular optimization. Now for biomarker monitoring system, which is absolutely crucial for ensuring both safety and optimal results throughout this protocol. Just like when we're assessing different types of arterial plaque, we need to keep a close eye on multiple markers to understand how your body is responding to the therapy. So on a weekly basis, we're tracking three fundamental parameters that tell us how your cardiovascular system is adapting. Your blood pressure patterns need to be monitored, not just as a single reading, but as it trends throughout the day. This gives us insight into how your vessels are responding to the therapy. Heart rate variability, which I consider one of our most sensitive indicators of cardiovascular health, needs to be tracked consistently. 
ideally at the same time each morning. Fasting glucose becomes particularly important because it can tell us about your metabolic response to the protocol. And remember, metabolic health directly impacts cardiovascular function. Monthly monitoring goes much deeper into what's happening in your arterial system. We'll perform a regular CIMT scan updates. Think of this like taking a progressive photographies of your arterial health. We track inflammatory markers because they're like an early warning system telling us how your body is responding to the therapy at a cellular level. Nitric oxide levels are particularly fascinating because they reveal how well your endothelium is functioning. And we complement this with a specific endothelial function test to get a complete picture of your vascular health. These monthly markers are what I call our GPS system. They tell us if we're on the right path or need to make adjustments to optimize your results. Remember, just like with plaque assessment, these markers tell a story when viewed together. No single marker tells us the whole picture. It's the pattern and trend of these markers that guides our protocol adjustments and ensures we're achieving optimal results while maintaining safety. Let me walk you through our comprehensive approach to food sources, supplementation, and safety protocols. When it comes to natural nicotine containing foods, nature has provided us with a perfect rotation strategy that maximizes benefits while preventing oversaturation. You'll want to incorporate eggplant two, three times weekly. Think of this as your primary nicotine containing food source. While green tea contains minimal nicotine, its synergistic compounds make it valuable for daily morning consumption. Cauliflower, should be included three times weekly and potatoes twice weekly. But here's what's crucial. Proper preparation is essential to maintain their beneficial compounds. The supplement strategy works like a finely tuned system with distinct morning and evening compositions. Your morning stack focuses on energetic support and vessel health, combining your nicotine protocol with coenzyme Q10, a comprehensive B complex and the crucial K2 MK7. The evening stack is designed for repair and regeneration, featuring magnesium, nitrate supplements, PQQ, and alpha lipoic acid. This timing isn't random, it's based on your body's natural circadian rhythms and metabolic patterns. Now, let's talk about safety because this is absolutely crucial. There are specific conditions where this protocol is absolutely contradicted. Unstable heart conditions, uncontrolled blood pressure, recent cardiac events, and certain medications that could interact unflavorably. Implementation must be gradually and carefully monitored. We're looking at morning heart rate, blood pressure response, sleep quality, energy levels, and exercise tolerance as our key indicators. Once you've completed the initial 12-week protocol, we move into a maintenance phase that's equally important. This involves cycling nicotine with three weeks on and one week off, maintaining your nitrate supplementation, regular CIMT monitoring, and constant adjustment based on your biomarkers. So think of this like maintaining a finely tuned engine. It requires regular attention and adjustments. The warning signs that should prompt immediate discontinuation include a regular heartbeat, chest pressure, unusual fatigue, sleep disruption, and anxiety spikes. Remember, we're working with a powerful compound here. It's not about uh, addiction, but about precise dosing and specific cardiovascular responses. The key to success with this protocol is understanding that everyone responds differently. Just like with different types of arterial plaque, our body's response will be unique to you. Our goal isn't speed, it's about growing new vessels properly in the right places with the right support structure. This is why careful monitoring and gradual progression 
are absolutely essential to achieving optimal results while maintaining safety. Save this protocol for reference comment vessels if you want the specific supplement brands I trust for this protocol.